Sorry about the computer noise. Uh, the computer is currently, currently uploading 212 updates. Um, but anyway, uh, tonight I'll be cooking a chicken chili out of this uh, cookbook here. Um, it's uh, it's not a lot like the normal chili I cooked earlier in this playlist. Uh, except for uh, instead of having hamburger, um, it has chicken instead. Uh, lately, uh, a lot of the recipes I've been cooking have hamburger and it. I'm starting to get kind of tired of hamburger. So, uh, go ahead and switch over to uh, chicken for a little bit. Uh, hopefully a little bit of pork later on. But hey, uh, that's what we got. Uh, let me go ahead and go what's all in it. And uh, just think I should say more in this intro. And here's the... Uh, the lineup here. It's a uh, pretty standard uh, past there. It's pretty standard chili, chili fare. But uh, let's see, go ahead and uh, two tablespoons of canola oil, a pound and a half of chicken thighs. I'm really fond of chicken thighs. I've, I've just, one time I discovered that uh, uh, I picked up chicken thighs instead of chicken breast once and it, it's a it's really good, a uh, good replacement. I think uh, they're not quite as good for you because I think there's a little bit more fat in chicken thighs, but uh, <laughs> which also explains why it tastes better because a lot of flavor comes from fat. But anyway, um, one large onion. I'm not sh again. I'm not sure how what constitute a large or onion, so I just picked up an onion. <laughs> um, one medium red bell pepper and again the, the bell peppers I, I don't know what exactly is medium or large but uh, one green one red bell peppers uh, four cloves of garlic I think there's about four cloves left in that bowl um, two can well, it's, the recipe calls for two 14 ounce cans of uh, diced tomatoes and chilies but I can only find 10 ounce cans, so I, I picked up three 10 ounce cans of chili, uh, tomatoes with uh, chilies in it. A six ounce can of tomato paste, and the recipe calls for white, small white beans. The only white beans I could find were the cannoli beans. Um, they kind of look like chili beans, but if they're white, I'm sure, I'm sure they'll be fine. Uh, one can of corn, oops, it calls for eight and a half, wait, eight and three quarter ounce can of corn, but I picked up a 15 ounce can of corn. Oh well. Um, two tablespoons of chili powder and a half a chili teaspoon of salt. So, yep, that's all that's in it. We'll go ahead and start cooking it up. It's a pretty easy recipe, it's pretty much just cook the chicken and put the rest in the crock pot. So, um, We'll go ahead and do that then. Alright, uh, we had one tablespoon of chicken, uh, one tablespoon of oil and chicken cooking for a little bit now. It said five or six minutes, but it also said uh, till mostly cooked, so it's been a little bit longer than that. But we'll go ahead and add that. So we'll add that to the to the crock pot. Go ahead and throw the spoon on the floor, that's a very important step. Anyway, uh, put that, the chicken in the crock pot, put that back on, and uh, we'll put one more tablespoon of oil in there, and then put the uh, bell pepper and onions and garlic in there. Yeah. Put the onions, garlic, and bell pepper in there with one more tablespoon of uh, oil, so let me... Alright. We just... Uh, Cook the onions, garlic, bell pepper, and the, both the bell peppers for says three or four minutes on medium heat, just until they get, start getting all uh, uh, tender and, and uh, stuff. So let that let cook, let that cook for a couple minutes, and uh, then we'll add that to the crock pot. Alright, the uh, onions and peppers and garlic and stuff has been cooking for a little bit now and it's starting to go um, all uh, soft and stuff. So we'll go ahead and add that to the crock pot. Okay. 
I'll get that stirred in with both hands. But um, after that gets to add to the crock pot, we'll add the rest of the ingredients there. Uh, give it one second to get situated here. I got the uh, the peppers stirred in, so I'll go ahead and add the corn. It's a lot of corn <laughs> because uh, yeah, you know, it's a bit more half than half, a bit more than half the what the recipe called for. I just grabbed the wrong can of corn and tomatoes. Tomatoes and tomatoes. And the beans. I'm pretty sure I grabbed the wrong kind of beans, but that's what I have. Salt and pepper, salt and uh, chili powder, and the tomato paste. But I'm going to add the tomato paste with uh, off camera because it doesn't come out of the can. But yeah, I'll have to do that two handed. So let me get that put in and stir it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, there it is. It's all mixed up and ready to uh, sit there for uh, three to four hours on high or seven to eight hours on low. And I'm about to go to work so I'll go ahead and set it on low for uh, eight hours and uh, we'll let that sit and uh, let that cook. Um, I'm going to get, after work I'll uh, scoop it up and uh, get it into freezer bags of course and then, but uh, let me go ahead and read off the nutritional facts for that and uh, in one second I'll get that done. Alright, it's cooked up for 8 hours now, oh, 9 hours, oh, <laughs> I to, uh, work went a little longer than I thought it would be, anyway, um, yeah, so it's turned out a little more soupy. Uh, than it was before, which is good. Soups, chili is a good soupy meal. Uh, yeah, not, not that different from regular chili, just uh, has chunks of chicken instead of beef or hamburger. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and go over the nutritional facts here. All right, we'll go ahead and go over the nutritional facts here. It's uh, actually a, a, rate, a grade uh, A minus uh, rating on the calorie counter here. It's uh, 445 calories per serving, which is, uh, six servings, uh, 151 calories for fat. It's 16.8 uh, grams of fat, uh, 3.6 grams of that saturated fat, uh, 102 milligrams of cholesterol, uh, 1,258 milligrams of sodium, uh, 100 1,079 milligrams of potassium, 40.1 grams of carbohydrates, of that is uh, 9.3 grams of fiber, 11.5 grams of sugar, uh, 35.9 grams of protein, uh, vitamin A has 38%, probably uh, a serving, uh, vitamin C 89%, which is surprising. I wonder where all that sodium, uh, vitamin C is coming from. Does chicken have vitamin C in it? 10% uh, calcium and 32% iron. Uh, the good points, high in vitamin C. Seriously, where's the iron and C coming from? I thought vitamin C was coming from, came from citrus fruit. But anyway, uh, but it's also a very, the bad point is um, it's very high in sodium, which is something I see a lot. Um, If that could be a problem. Uh, it's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to have a chicken recipe instead of uh, beef and hamburger all the time. But uh, yeah, that's that's uh, chicken chili. Um, yeah, I wonder what's next. I 